Well, I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm still doing science from home and we're still looking at physical and chemical properties and physical and chemical changes. And today we're going to be looking at a chemical change called oxidation. And basically oxidation just means that something's reacting with oxygen and it's gaining oxygen into its molecule. And we're going to be looking at an oxidation reaction of thermite. And to make our thermite, we've got two different chemicals here. We've got some iron oxide and we've got aluminum powder. And we're just going to mix those together in about a three to one ratio to make this thermite mixture. And the way that the oxidation works in this particular mixture, the iron oxide is going to be giving up oxygen from its molecule to bond with the aluminum to make aluminum oxide. And it's also going to make molten iron that we'll be able to see from this reaction. So we're going to mix this thoroughly and then we'll be ready to go outdoors and test it. Well, it looks like it's mixed up thoroughly. So what we have now is our iron oxide mixed with our aluminum powder. And right now a chemical change, a chemical reaction has not occurred. We've just mixed these two things together. We're going to have to take it outside, add some heat in order for the chemical change to take place. So let's go outside and we'll take a look at our chemical reaction of thermite. All right, well, we're outside with our thermite now and we're going to use some magnesium because we've got to get the thermite to a very high temperature to get it to ignite. But once it does begin to burn, you're going to see it's a very highly exothermic chemical reaction, meaning it's going to give off a lot of heat. You're going to see a shower of sparks. You're going to see molten material coming out the bottom, and that's actually molten iron, where the iron oxide, as it gives up the oxygen, it's changing it to iron. It's melting it, and that iron's coming out the bottom. So we're going to light this, and we're going to move out of the way and watch the reaction. So this is the result of our chemical reaction here. That thermite explosion that we saw is that oxygen from the iron oxide bonds with the aluminum to make aluminum oxide. It also gives off this molten iron. You can see it's starting to, to cool here. It comes out at a very, very high temperature. So we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna let it cool good before we get it up here. But again, just a really great example of a chemical change, thermite reaction, the process of oxidation, exothermic reactions giving off heat, so many great concepts that can be demonstrated by this one chemical reaction. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are getting along well in your time away from school, and I hope I'll see all of you soon.